This right here just happens to be the most off-road worthy Toyota Tundra you can buy right now. It's the 2020 TRD Pro. And we've taken it off-road. We know it does really, really well rock crawling and tackling the Rocky Mountains, but how does it tow? And this is exactly what I'm gonna find out in this video with almost 5,000 pounds of trailer behind me. That's why I'm here at the truck stop. Let's get going. In this video, I'm gonna tow on a highway about 30 miles and give you real world fuel economy with a trailer at the fuel pump and also just to give you a real world review of what it's like to tow and bring your toys with your Tundra TRD Pro. This truck is well equipped for towing. It has an integrated trailer brake control right here just to the right of the steering wheel by your right knee. I think it's a pretty good position. It's a little bit low, uh, but after a while you can quickly find it. It's really nice. You can control your gain. Once again, I'm running at about four and a half on my gain. I don't need much more with a lighter weight trailer. And I'm gonna be using tow haul mode today on the highway. Of course, under the hood is this good old 5.7 liter iForce V8 from Toyota, 381 horsepower, 401 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to their tried and true six-speed automatic transmission. The rear differential ratio is a 430, which is great for towing, but what's not so great is the EPA rating for fuel efficiency, which is 13 CD, 17 highway, and 14 combined. We'll see how it does with the trailer. This truck has one camera, it's a backup camera. Um, it does not have dynamic lines when I turn my steering wheel. Nothing happens. The resolution is not the best. Um, so yes, it's a basic system. It does help you hook up. The camera in the back is a little bit off center. I think you can tell that a little bit. So you're looking at the hitch, not directly on top of it, but actually at an angle. Some people don't like that. I am not a fan. But still, you can see your trailer connections and everything is nice. We've done several of these videos. We've towed with a Jeep Gladiator, Ford F-250, Nissan Titan Pro 4X with this exact same trailer and a very similar razor on top of it. Uh, this razor weighs around 1,800 pounds. The trailer weighs about 3,000, so we're towing 4,800 pounds today. All right, I just got on the highway and the Tundra tows beautifully. Yes, it has an off-road suspension, it has Fox shocks, it tuned a little bit softer. Maximum payload is around 1,235 pounds, so not really great payload because uh, others are better. For example, a Trail Boss that we own has over 1,500 pounds of payload. Yeah, the Tundra as it is may not have a great fuel efficiency rating, but it has a really great fuel tank. 38 gallon capacity, that's more than a Ford F-150 Raptor. It's better than our Ford F-250 truck. Uh, that's really good capacity for extra range when towing especially. I've been driving from home to the office, just normal driving with no trailer. 14.7 combined is what I'm getting right now. And uh, let's see what we get when we fill up. This V8 is plenty powerful. The transmission works beautifully with this trailer. I even have adaptive cruise control in this 2020 truck and it's maintaining distance and it's pretty smooth. It's not too jerky like some other systems maybe. Um, right here, there's a car just got in front of me. The truck is still maintaining good distance. And did you hear that? The sound from this twin outlet exhaust system is just beautiful. It, it's not annoying either, because you might be saying, oh, what if it's droning on a highway? No, it doesn't drone too much. It's just a little bit deep. Toyota continues to add functionality to the Tundra and all of their vehicles. Um, and here you see a trailer brake controller type. So I can actually go through it 
and right now I'm towing just under 5,000 pounds electric brakes uh, which is a trailer type you also have electric over 5,000 pounds and this truck is rated at around 9,800 pounds of max towing then electric over hydraulic and you know, once again under 5,000 and over 5,000 and if you select a type you can also turn it off and it will remind you it'll say by the way what are you doing why are you turning it off so it's a really clever system I like that also take a look at the mirrors the mirrors are really good and I can see around this trailer quite well the great thing about this trailer also is because it's pretty low it's a flat deck trailer so these standard mirrors not towing mirrors are actually enough for me to look as to look around it and see everything including the wheel of the trailer do you see this little green trailer guy right there in the gauge cluster as soon as you connect the trailer the truck actually tells you yes I know the trailer is there not a lot of trucks do this which is a really nice thing to see in this Tundra. And because this truck has a specific off-road suspension, because it is a TRD Pro, the springs are tuned to be a little softer, hence this truck squatted uh, a little bit more than I liked when we put this trailer on, which is why I also pushed the Razor just a hair back, even though you don't want to do that usually because you want enough tongue weight, about 10% of the total weight of the trailer, on the tongue to make it stable but uh, the way it is right now there's no trailer wagging me it's really solid uh, this the ride is relatively comfortable and I don't really feel like I am like really towing a trailer I mean it's a pretty pleasant experience which is nice and the engine is so powerful it could tow probably three times as much but there's one more item that I really love it's the back window I can lower it and check out the trailer really up close. All right, that's about it. We went about 32 miles. So let me get the number at the pump and let you know exactly what the fuel efficiency is with about 5,000 pounds of trailer. Well, the truck says 12.8. Let's see what the pump says. There we go. 2.483. Whoa, 12.9. That's really good. I mean, I was expecting something much lower. Maybe this V8 does like to be on the highway and towing about 5,000 pounds. Good job, Tundra. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, pretty pleasant result. This truck is really competent when towing 5,000 pounds. I think it can handle much more weight than this. And go back to tfltruck.com for news views and real world towing, off-roading, and all the other truck reviews. Hey, what's going on, TFL? My name's Jeff. I'm from Meridian, Idaho. This is my 2017 Toyota Tundra SR5 Crew Max. Let's take a closer look. I purchased the TRD Pro grill and hood bulge, as well as bumper end caps to get rid of the chrome. When I first bought the truck, I did opt for the 3.2 ready lift. Um, I just wanted to hurry up and get this thing leveled and put bigger tires on it. But for what I do, it's not real practical. I wanted something that had a little bit better ride. So I purchased the Camberg upper control arms as well as the Toytec coilovers with iBox springs and the ride has greatly improved. I trade off my vehicles about every two to three years and this truck's going to be no different. I am actually going to trade it off for a 2020 Trail Boss with a 6.2 and a 10 speed transmission. With these 34 and a half inch tires and lift I average right about 14 to 15 MPG. That is hand calculated, doing it the TFL way. Just wanted to thank you guys for taking a look at my 2017 Toyota Tundra. Have a great day.